Hello guys, this is Lina, Slima Yankee 2 Hotel. Thanks for joining me. You know, I was about going outdoors these days to practice some digital modes in the field, to learn better my new radio icon IC705, maybe activate a park on FT8, a FT4 modes. But then suddenly I realized that I cannot do that before I get an answer to one important question, which is how would I get my mini PC's real-time clock synced with the precise time signals being in the field where there's no Wi-Fi, where there might be no cell phone coverage to share the hotspot with, and how then I can operate FT8 and FT4? The answer, my friend, is blowing not in the wind. It's in this little radio. Stay tuned and let's find an answer together. At the moment, my FT8 software is running without time syncing on the computer. So, and we see a pretty ugly DT figures. So we see that the difference in time. So we see that the difference in time almost in all cases is more than one second and really uh, reaching almost two seconds. 1.9, 1.8, 2.1, 2.4. It means that it would be very difficult, if not if not um, not possible at all, to make a contact with these stations with that with this big difference in time. So uh, normally the difference in time to work successfully on W uh, S J T X F T eight mode or F T four mode or J S eight call mode. Uh, so you need to have the difference in time up to one second less than one second is ideal zero point something so uh, in this configuration if we are in the field with no syncing so we can say our ft8 endeavor is finished unfortunately so guys if you are in the field and you suddenly see terrible difference in time figures on your on your ft8 screen and there's no Wi-Fi, and there is no cell phone coverage. Uh, so the only thing to do is to get GPS signal. You can do that by the means of GPS dongle, or if you are lucky enough and you got ICOM IC705 with you in the fields, then this little radio got its own GPS receiver installed. And the whole thing, uh, and the whole one we need to do is uh, to get this signal somehow from the radio into your computer and uh, to use this signal by the means of the uh, dedicated app on, on your computer uh, to use this signal to sync the clock of your PC. Let's see how to do that. So on the radio side, we basically have to do two things to get the GPS service on the ICOM IC705 configured correctly. First, we have to go to the menu, choose set number one, go settings, and we go to connectors. In the connectors, we see all the USB connections possible from the radio to the computer. So at this point, we don't touch CIV. Uh, we leave it, it's for the CAT function. And there's another USB port built into the same uh, radio, which goes through the same USB cord, which is amazing, guys. And it's called USB B function. And this is used for the GPS. Push it. And here we have GPS out. And we have to put it on on. So could be off and could be on. So we choose it on. GPS out is on. That's okay. It means the GPS receiver is transmitting already uh, the GPS signal. That's fine. Go back. Go back to the menu. Go to the set number two. We go to GPS. And here we have the GPS transmission mode. 
and it has to be chosen to EnMIA. There are different protocols and we want EnMIA, National Marine Electronics Association Protocol Standard. This standard is supported and recognized by all GPS manufacturers and actually by all software developers. And that's it. Radio is transmitting the GPS sentences which contain among the other data like location. It also contains the precise time information. That's what we want today. Before turning onto the computer part, we can uh, get uh, convinced that the, uh, uh, that, that the GPS receiver of the radio is really working. So we see the GPS icon not blinking still. It means the GPS is locked. And then we, have, uh, we can just get the information uh, to see if it's, uh, what does it show. So it's GPS information and GPS position. If we press the position, we see perfectly, yes, it's working. It shows uh, my location, coordinates, it shows my grid locator, uh, Kilo Oscar 24 Oscar Papa. It shows altitude, it shows uh, speed, <laughs> I'm not moving, but still. And it shows time. So the time is included into the package. That's what we need uh, today. And it's, uh, and it's working. It's really, we can be sure now uh, that the signal, that the GPS signal with all the necessary data gets into the radio and comes out of the radio to the computer. Let's turn now to the computer side. As it comes to the software app, which would work good for syncing with my Windows 10 64-bit mini laptop PC, it was not so easy to find a good one. After some Googling, I've come across uh, with the maniaradio.it website run by the Italian radio amateur Mauro Italy Zulu 2 Bravo Kilo Tango. And the app is called BKT Time Sync by Italy Zulu 2 Bravo Kilo Tango. There is a link in the description. So this uh, app turned to be pretty simple easy to set up and pretty working pretty effectively both with the internet syncing and with the GPS syncing. So, on the computer side, we need to open up the pre-installed BKT Time Sync app by Italy Zulu 2 Bravo Kilo Tango. So, Yes, we want to run this exe file and the program goes into the system tray and from system tray we open it up and here we have the program. I have configured already uh, the app of course uh, but it's, uh, it's very easy to understand, it's very easy user interface and um, uh, it's uh, maybe difficult to, to see good on this my smallish 8-inch inch, eight inch, uh, screen, but um, uh, you, have, uh, you can uh, choose which way do you run uh, the app. You can enable NTP, which means the, uh, you can enable the uh, time syncing through the internet server, uh, I chose not to enable just just in order to uh, to imitate uh, no Wi-Fi situation. But if you push uh, enable it, uh, then uh, the uh, the software could uh, choose which uh, which signal uh, and where from um, does it take either either from the NTP server or from the GPS. So uh, it's, um, it's very good and convenient because it's a dual purpose uh, app which allows you to use any, any signal, um, um, so to say, precise time signal you get. I don't choose enable NTP, but I choose enable GPS. And um, what is important, um, I, we have to configure correctly 
uh, the serial port, the COM port, which the uh, radio's GPS is connected to. Uh, you can check it into the device manager of your computer uh, and you will see there are two ports. One is for, is for the CAT, CIV, and the other is uh, for, the, uh, for, 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 for the USB B port. So in my com on my computer, the USB port, uh, USB B port is on COM5, and uh, I've chosen the baud rate 9600 uh, because it's a speed of the driver which is on uh, on this COM5 port. I haven't changed anything uh, which is which is uh, pre-configured already in this uh, app. And here you see the protocol and Mia, so uh, that's that's um, corresponds with what we've chosen on the radio settings and enable GPS. And here we can see that the software correctly recognizes the information it gets from the radio. So we see the coordinates, we see my altitude, and we see my W uh, W locator. The same kilo Oscar twenty four Oscar Papa, and it means uh, the software is working. General options and when uh, when and how you want the app to start. So I've chosen to sync on startup uh, here. It means that when I start the app, it syncs automatically and at once. I don't uh, need um, to, 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 to push the start button down, down on the page uh, and um, it's, it's, it's easy and convenient. Um, you, can, uh, you can choose to start syncing on start on Windows startup. It's also an option or start on system tray. Uh, so that's, that's whatever you wish. So that's it. There's nothing, uh, no need to do anything else. We just leave it as it is, and no, no, no shutdown, nothing. We just start, we just start the WSGTX program, the the FT8 app, and now we see difference in time indications are very very nice. 0 0.1, 0 0.6, 0 0.0. Uh, so uh, we see that obviously. The app works, the GPS receiver works, and we have the time synced correctly. Hooray! I tried the setup for a couple of evenings in my shack, and it proved to be pretty reliable and uh, working good. The GPS of ICOM IC705 uh, locks onto the satellites pretty quickly and pretty reliably, even in the house, in the building. And that's, that, that, that's very good, at least much better than the GPS dongle I've tried to use some time ago. So, uh, it was fun to try, it was fun to work, and I even made some DX. Alright, Yankee Charlie 5, Nancy Hotel Delta is answering. I wonder if we're gonna be lucky enough to complete the QSO. He's copying me minus 22. That's on the verge of the of the noise level, I guess. Right? Yes. Yes, we did it. We did it. Oh, Shaney with with 10 watts from Icon 705 on the Antfed half wave, 80 to 10 meters antenna. All right, and this is X-ray Victor One X-ray Vietnam, and I'm working split. He's transmitting on 252 hertz, and I'm calling him at 583 hertz. So where is a little bit less stations as as you can see on the uh, on the waterfall? Yeah, unfortunately we can't complete the cure so due to some reasons and voila it's not gone he gave me roger and 73 so we completed qso with the vietnamese station x-ray victor one x-ray with 10 watts from icom ic705 
with the computer's clock synced by the means of the GPS built in into the transceiver and fit through, through the BKT software to my laptop computer. Windows 10, perfect. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'm ready to go for the fields. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you want to be the first to know what's going to happen in the fields with this nice setup and working digital modes, activating a park. And for today, goodbye 73. This is Linus Lima Yankee 2 Hotel.